So today's video is going to be one of those videos where Matt sits in front of the camera for 10 minutes and complains about something that's bugging him. Now, you're probably thinking, Matt, isn't that like every other video on your on your channel? Yeah, it definitely is one of those things. But I have a channel to use to complain about things. That's what I do. So anyways, today, the target is multi-monitor on Linux because it's, you know, shit. And that's just the absolute truth. So we're going to talk about that today. But it used to be that my constant target of angst was audio on Linux. Like that you that for like 30 years, audio was crap on Linux and everyone knew it. And now I haven't used Linux for 30 years, but when I was coming into Linux full time, uh, Pipewire was one of those things that was just coming out and everyone thought it was ready. So every distro was implementing it and making it default and it was atrocious. Every update to Pipewire would break something and that's horrible. Like it, it was a bad experience there for a good couple of years and it didn't matter what distro you were on. They were all equally bad when it came to using Pipewire. And to this day, there are still many people who just won't use Pipewire because they had bad experiences with Pipewire when it was first coming out and being made official. But one of the things on Linux that I found is actually more broken and has been consistently broken for my entire time using Linux is multi-monitor support. Now, let's just get the reason why this is the case out of the way. A lot of the developers who do desktop environments and window managers, they don't have multiple monitors. So they can't test and fix the bugs that are related to multi-monitor use. It's just something that's absolutely the truth. Now, uh, these days, that problem isn't so much prevalent because a lot more people have more than one monitor than they used to. But still, a lot of developers don't actually have a desktop computer that they're typing away on. They're actually just using a laptop. And that's just, you know, it's really hard to triage and fix bugs for a setup that you don't have access to. It's just not easy to do. So the reason is obvious. But, <laughs> but ignore everything I just said. It's still crap. Now, I'm a special case. I have a weird ass monitor. I have an LG dual up. I'll put a video, uh, you know, a, a picture of it here. And it has two modes. You can either use it as two monitors. Basically, you plug in two cables to it and it will allow you to use it as two 21 inch monitors. Or like I use it, I use it as one 42 inch monitor. And because no one's ever heard of a 42 inch monitor before, you probably reckon that it is a very weird uh, aspect or re display resolution. And you'd be right. It is a very weird resolution. I don't even know what the numbers are, but it's a very weird kind of rectangle-ish you know, non-used resolution. And that means that it has some issues. Namely, when it comes to support from desktop environments and window managers. Now, I talked in my most recent patron-exclusive podcast about this problem in more depth. If you guys want to have access to that, you can find all that stuff at patreon.com slash linuxcast. There's a good plug for you. But uh, basically what I said there is that because I have this really weird uh, monitor setup, I can't switch to a window manager because none of them support this resolution all that well. Even using Wayland, I've had some major issues. Now, it's a me problem that I have this really weird monitor. I don't like to admit it, but it's my fault that I had to have the damn thing. And uh, I, I regret the purchase of it every single day of my life. It's cool, but it's not something that Linux supports well. That being said, I've been ha I've had multiple monitors now basically since 2012 or so, even before I switched to Linux. And the support on Linux, even when I had normal monitors, two that had the same resolution, was always subpar. I was always having some issues somewhere along the line, uh, you know, Either it wasn't remembering where it goes, or if I were, say I'm in KD Plasma, sometimes it would move the panel from one place to another. Now, 6 seems to have fixed that problem, thanks, thank goodness. But I was always having some issues like that, or, you know, I had some problems where, you know, one of the monitors was, you know, flickering because of some weird bug with the drivers or whatever. And you name it, I was always having some issues with multiple monitor support. It's just, it's not good. And... A lot of that is because of display drivers. Some of it is because of, you know, inability to test things on, a, on, the, dis, on the desktop environment front. Uh, some of it is the fact that 
resolutions aren't standard. So some people have 1080p, some people have 1440p, some people have 4K. There's some fools out there who think 8, 8K is like a thing. Uh, like, and they, th they think they can tell a difference, which is just insane. Uh, but, you know, everyone has a different resolution. Everyone has a different aspect ratio. There's so much stuff that goes into this, and it's hard to test when every single person and their brother has a different setup. How are you to test how KD Plasma or GNOME is going to react to that particular setup when you don't have it, have access to do you know, the testing that you need to do? So I understand the problem. I like I, I understand that it's an issue of the ability to test that many different you know resolutions and such. But as a entitled Linux user, which I are one, I will still say that it sucks that in this day and age it's still not well supported to use multiple monitors. It works okay most of the time, sometimes, but also I can tell you this for true. Almost every problem I've had on Linux in the last year and a half has been regarding a monitor of some kind, especially when I'm in a window manager. Like when I was on, when I was using window managers full time, almost every single issue that I was having had something to do with the fact that I had two monitors set up, or in in, in the LG Dual probably three at one point, right? You know, either uh, Wayland didn't particularly care for that resolution, or Xorg was having a, a bitch fit or something like that. And it's it's just there was always something, and even now that I've moved to a desktop environment, I still have really weird issues. Now, KDE is notoriously, you know, I say this all the time, it's it's buggy, and while it has become more stable, at least for me recently, I still experience bugs a lot, and some of those are regarding my second monitor. I have weird flickering issues every once in a while, and artifacting where the applications just stay where they're supposed to be even if you drag them something somewhere different and sometimes kwin crashes because of that and it's not and it always happens just on the second monitor right it never happens on the primary monitor so it leads me to believe it's something to do with you know having two monitors now it could be because of the stupid display resolution of the stupid monitor that i had to have but I still feel like it's more likely that it's just because it's a multi-monitor setup and kde doesn't all the time treat that as something that it can handle despite knowing that it's a hard problem to solve i still hate that it exists i hate that in this day and age that it just doesn't work as well as it does on other operating systems like windows and mac they do well on multiple monitors they always have now do they handle them perfectly probably not like no but it always felt when I was on Windows and had multiple monitors that they worked really well together. And maybe I'm misremembering and having fond, fond nostalgic memories of Windows, which just feels like an icky place to be. But still, it felt, at least then from what I remember, that they worked well together. And it definitely feels like it worked better than uh, it does now here on Linux. And it seems to be like... For me, this is the last remaining problem. Like, audio seems to be fixed. Like, I haven't had a pipe... I mean, knock on some wood here, but I'm pretty sure that I haven't had a, a pipeware issue uh, since Christmas of last year. And the reason why I remember that is because we did the Christmas special with DT and a whole bunch of other Linux YouTubers, and um, I had problems with audio. That's why I remember it. So, But I haven't had anything since. Like, since then... It has worked really well. And yes, I'm uh, knocking my head. It's it's wood, made of wood. Uh, <laughs> it's a weird joke. But anyways, so audio seems to have been fixed. KDE, which is, seems to be what I've settled on in terms of a desktop environment, seems to have been fairly stable recently. And they they seem to be getting their crap together. And, you know, networking has been working really well on this computer for a while. So for me, the last big problem with Linux is this multi-monitor support. And I really, really wish uh, that I was a developer of any skill whatsoever. And I'm not. I wish that I were, though, because if I were, I would help fix this. <laughs> like, like, this is an area where I would love to be able to contribute to try to fix this problem. Because this is a problem... Not for a lot of people. Like, a lot of people just have one monitor, and they're, they're, they're probably watching this video like, uh, what are you complaining about? Just fix your monitor situation. It's your problem, not Linux's problem. And uh, I can see that. I, I can see that argument. 
but a lot of people do have multiple monitors, and I wish that this was fixed, and I get, uh, like I said, I wish I could help fix it. Um, and maybe that's a, a goal for me to do is learn learn enough, I don't know, C++ or something, uh, where I can go in and, and try to fix this in at least one desktop environment or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, that's enough of me complaining for the day. Uh, just to, for, so you know that I will probably eventually go down to one monitor because of this problem. Uh, I, I'm... I don't want to spend more money on it. I, I just spent $500 several months ago on the LG Dual Up thing, and it was an atrocious purchase. And I need to live with it for a while, to for punishment, for whatever you want to say, for I, I, penance maybe is, is a better word. I don't know. I, I need to let that sit there for a little while. So eventually, I'm just going to get like a giant 49-inch monitor, just have one big monitor, uh, and maybe then I won't have any of these problems. So that's probably going to be the solution because uh, I don't think that this is going to ever get fixed and be perfect the way, the way that I want it to be because um, nothing is perfect. So anyways, that's it for this one. If you have thoughts on this and you can leave those in the comment section below, I'd love to hear from you. If you haven't already, you can leave a thumbs up on this video. I'd really appreciate that. That would really help the channel. And if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? I make Linux content on YouTube and on Odyssey so you can subscribe in either of those places. And uh, you can find more Linux content just like this. If you like it, if you like it, you know, hit the subscribe button. So uh, that's it for this one. You can help support me on Patreon at patreoncom linuxcast or on Kofi or YouTube. Those will links will be in the video description below if you want to help support me there. Or you can head over to the shop, which is available at shop.linuxcast.org. There you'll find all sorts of awesome merch. All the proceeds for which go directly towards helping me make more Linux content for you guys. Uh, thanks to everybody who does support me on Patreon and YouTube. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Without you, the channel should not be anywhere near where it is right now. So thank you so very, very much for your support. I truly do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Again, thank you so very much. Now, if you are a supporter on YouTube, I know your name is probably not here. I, <clears throat> excuse me, I do not get any notifications from YouTube when a member joins. And I have to go spelunking to find that information. The UI is atrocious, so just know if you support me on YouTube, I appreciate you as much as I possibly can. And uh, despite you not getting as many of the perks as the other guys get, I do try to upload the patron exclusive podcast on YouTube as well now, uh, so you can at least get access to that stuff. So thanks everybody for your support. I truly appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.